Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my LB The Show 19 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 7 and here we are for this April 19th game. And as you know, we lost last episode, so we're going to try to recover from that. And especially the bullpen with their weaknesses. Uh, I decided to sign somebody else, which apparently is still a free agent in real life. And that man is... Craig Kimbrell. Kimbrell. I'm going to... Uh, Add them into the pitching rotation and make them come out of the bullpen with Justin Wilson. Uh, obviously, Edwin Diaz is injured, so I have Juris Familia closing up shop there. So, it's for the setup for the eighth inning, it's going to be Kimbrell and Justin Wilson, and Juris Familia is going to close things, close things out. Um, but for the April 19th game, uh, I'm going to be facing St. Louis with Steven Matz on the mound. He's going to open up the series, and hopefully, you can get a good start. They're 8 and 10 with Michael Walk on the mound. So I'll see you guys in St. Louis. One and two to Martinez. Here the bottom of the first. That's throws. Got him looking with the changeup. That is out number one here in the first inning, as I said. That was Matt's first strike out of the night. What a play by Cano. Diving stop. That was an out of first. What a diving stop by Robinson Cano for the second out of the first inning. That's a swing and a miss from Carpenter. That is the second strikeout of the game of the game inning over. He is struggling. Double play ball. We're gonna surrender a run. Double play ball. It's gonna be one nothing St. Louis here in the second inning. Oh my gosh, that is Walker with RBI up the middle. Oh boy, 2 nothing, St. Louis. It's a base hit. Going to run home, play at the plate, and he is going to be out by a mile. Oh, that's a no doubter. That is a home run to Munoz. Three nothing St. Louis here in the third inning. Another ball in. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. Martinez going back. That is a home run. That is a home run by Yohan Cespedes. One opposite field, so it's three to one Mets. That's his third home of the year. Besides this home run, he has been struggling here early in the season with a sub-200 average. Again, hoping that I'll wake him up. But we're still down two here in the fourth inning. Here double play ball. At second. Out of first. That is a double play with bases loaded. To get the Cardinals out of that situation. The intentional walk paid off. That ends the inning. We're going to the fifth. There you go. That's a base hit for Matt. It's going to be a double. He's going to round third. He's going to be waved home. And he's going to be out again. Jeez. Swing and a miss. Lugo looks good coming out of the bullpen. So far, five straight outs. What a stop. What a throw to get Alonzo out. Oh, man. That is Conforto going opposite field. Two outs here in the ninth. And that's a solo shot, so they're only down by one. Conforto, I feel like, is the only guy that's been producing for the Mets. That's the seventh home of the year. Another solo shot going 413 feet. And it's 3 to 2 Mets, or 3 to 2 St. Louis here in the ninth inning with two outs. That, my friends, is a cardinal sin for any club. Drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. And nope. McNeil gets caught looking. Game over. Mets lose three to two. Loss goes Steven Matz. You have eight hits, three walks. And all we need was three runs to win. We had the two solo shots by Michael Conforto and Cespedes. 
Michael Walker gets the win. Uh, another struggle for the offense here. McNeil, uh, Yo is also struggling. Even he had the home run. He's still batting above 280. Uh, it's a problem. Uh, it's a big problem for for the Mets right now. Even though my dog is chewing his leg right now, and I don't know if, I don't know if you can hear that. Um, that's, my, that's my wife laughing in the background as I'm recording this. Um, but we're gonna sim the rest of this uh, series. And while the guards is back, we will still be injured there, so I'll keep him on the DL for a little bit. Uh, the Mets are up six to five with the simulation for game two. We're gonna simulate here, and we won six to five. Cool. Simulate this game. Brendan Nimmo has a fractured forearm for AAA. Uh, out to two months. Put him on the 60 day. I was about to call him up too. Uh, let's see. Place on the bench. Edwin Diaz is. Uh, let's activate him, but he won't be playing. And we lose the second game against the Mets with Craig, uh, Craig Kim Kimbrell uh, giving up the loss. So he is 0-1-1 start the season for the Mets. So we lose that series. And let's take a look at the roster here because some people got healthy and we got we gotta send two people down. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Dominic Smith hasn't done anything for me at all this season. I might call him down. As much as I hate to do it, I need to call him down. And he's gonna go to AAA. And who else is here that I can send down? Let's, let's take a look at the relievers, actually. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's the worst one out of all of them? Just someone's not too bad. Let's see. I think I'm going to have to call down Seawald, although I do like him, not too bad. Lugo, Burnett. Let's call one more person down. Let's take a look at the. MLB rosters. Hmm. Who can we call down? Let's see. I know it's a tough decision, but I might have to call down uh, Echeverria to AAA and use one of his uh, minor league options. So we are at. 25 men on, we have to make some pitching rotation, some lineups, changes. There's been a lot of struggling offensively, so I'll have to address that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB 19, the show, Franchise of the Mets. Uh, don't forget to click the like button if you haven't already subscribed. Hope you guys have a great day, take it easy, and peace.